How Pen Gillette Lose Weight 120 Pounds No Magic Required Pen Fraser Gillette is an American magician, juggler, comedian, musician, inventor, actor, and best-selling author known for his work with fellow magician teller in the team Pen and Teller. Today, I will explain you how Pen Gillette lose weight 120 pounds by using technology. Pen Gillette is a firm believer that too much moderation is bad for you. I have never had a drink of alcohol in my life, says the 60-year-old illusionist. I have never had a puff of marijuana. And if I did do drugs, I would be a heroin addict and I would drop LSD every day. Not only do I not do moderation, I do not respect it in any way. So it is probably not surprising that when the 6 foot 6 inch Gillette was hospitalized in October 2014 because his weight had ballooned to 330 pounds and he was in danger of stroking out, he saw it as an opportunity to push the envelope even further. The doctors wanted to cut him open and insert a stomach sleeve, limiting Gillette's ability to take in food. Instead, he had a more radical idea to see just how much weight he could lose by questioning every assumption made about food and dieting. In this quest, he had some help, the guidance of Ray Cronus, the former NASA scientist who advocates radical changes in diet, a posse of like-minded friends, and a handful of tech gadgets. Using these devices and obsessive adherence to a strict regimen, Gillette managed to drop nearly 120 pounds in just four months rebooting and extending his life. And now he plans to share what he has learned with the world in a series of web videos debuting next month. The first thing Gillette did after checking out of the hospital was to buy the Withings Smart Scale, on the advice of Cronus Cray Ray. Cray Ray said the first thing you gotta do is buy this scale, says Gillette. I thought a scale is a scale. I know what I weigh. I got scales. I got one of those fancy doctor ones where you slide the things along. He says, no, no, this is different. It talks to the web. It sounds like the difference is unimportant. But, you know, we have learned over the past 30 years that the things that talk to the web, whether that is naked women, ISIS, or a scale, once they talk to the web, things change. When Gillette stepped on the scale, his weight showed up on Cronus's phone. And the fact that his weight was showing up on his friend's phone is what made all the difference, he says. And not just Gillette's weight was there. He recruited a posse of friends who also used the Withings scale to record their weight loss. It became the kind of cult, Gillette says, to see who could lose the most weight the most quickly. We became this coven of late middle aged obsessive men who are living, breathing, and thinking about how much weight we lost today, he says. It was like starting a band. The wacky thing was, just a simple technological thing of a scale that talks to the web allowed me to tap into an unpleasant cult mentality and use that as a positive thing. Besides the scale, Gillette also relied on the Wibbing's wireless blood pressure monitor. At the time, he was on six hardcore meds to control his blood pressure. As he dropped weight at the rate of nearly a pound a day, the medications that had been keeping him alive were starting to kill him, he says. So each day he strapped on the cuff, which uploaded his blood pressure directly to his doctor. I would put the cuff on, and my doctor would call me 15 minutes later and say, your blood pressure is crashing, get off that medication, it is poisoning you, he says. I do not think it is possible to do what I did if I had to drive to the doctor's office every week to measure my blood pressure. Today, Gillette is medication-free, life-free or diet. Gillette acknowledges that the single biggest driver behind losing pretty much the equivalent of his silent partner in illusion, Teller, was a radical change in diet. I adopted what, in its simplest terms, is called an evidence-based diet, he says. I eat whole plants. That is the whole answer. No animal products, no olive oil, no salt, no sugar, no refined grains. You end up being a hippie, but for very different reasons. After three months, eating what he used to consider normal foods, 
like a traditional Thanksgiving dinner. Felt kind of disgusting. He adds. All of this stuff is possible without Withings putting this stuff on the web, he says. It is just making it automatic and instant. It does not allow a guy like me to spin information, something I am normally very good at. A little tool, a little bit of a nudge, can make a huge difference. All told, Gillette's group of co-conspirators collectively lost several hundred pounds, and they are not done yet. The thing no one ever told me is that this way lost stuff can be fun, he says. Like building the ship in a bottle or learning the exact perfect baseline to Sister Ray by the Velvet Underground. People always ask me, do not you miss pizza and stuff like that. That is kind of like asking someone who plays in a band if they miss watching TV. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and share to your friends. And do not forget to subscribe this channel for getting new videos.